Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to the Automation on YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to draw a basic electrical circuit in Fluidium software. We will use a start and stop button to create a simple control circuits. Okay, let's get started. We will first open the software. Okay, these are the simples library. So you just Track and drop on our convenient on the right side or in the left side, wherever you like. So here you can see all the symbols. So today we're going to use a ladder symbols, which is useful to create a simple electrical control circuits. So that we can go to the ladder symbols. Here's the ladder symbols. So here you can see this a um, power supply, zero volt and twenty four volt. Is the push button is a um, push button is a, a normally open contact push button is normally close contact and here you can see the relay and you have an indicator light also here is the make switch and the break switch okay let's create a new file okay okay now we will start with the power supply try control the 24 volt and the zero volt okay next we'll use push button to start the circuit so just try and connect to the this area and next is the push button to stop the circuits so connect these two and connect to the relay to turn on the relay so the power flow to the this side okay just make it straight so we can name it this button and start click right click and properties then you can name start same as this button we can name it as stop And this one we can name it as relay or R1 something whatever you want you can name it R1 okay now when you press the start button the power flows to this side and turn on the relay when you release this button the relay will cut off so what we are going to do we use the relay to let this circuit so for this you need a make switch and truck and drop and connect to the power side and then you can let the start button okay now you have to name it as r1 yes we are using this and no contact from the relay contacts okay now when you press this button the power flow to this and the relay will start after the relay is on, then you will get a latch and keep the circuit is on. Let's right click on the play button to try this. Press start. Okay. The power goes here and the relay is turned on. It get latched. When you press the stop button, it get disconnected. Okay, it's disconnected. So next we will add some indicators to display when the circuit is on and then when the circuit is off. So we will use a make switch to be off of the simulation then to control the make switch and connect to this circuit power supplies. Then you need an indicator to display whether the circuit is turned on or turned off. So make it straight and connect to this one. Okay, now you can name this one as the relay R1. Now this light, when the circuit is turned on, you have to 
set to green so that you know the circuit is turned on so if the circuit is off which means if somebody push the somebody press the push button then the light will the red light will turn on so that we will use a normally close contact okay then is indicate the light to connect to this so make straight and connect to here okay align it okay this one okay same as relay r1 so we are using a normally close contact from the relay so now the circuit is ready when the relay is on then you press the start button the relay is on when the relay is on the green light will lit up when the when you press the stop button the relay will stop and the power flows here and the red indicator will turn on let's check press the play button so currently okay sorry we will change the indicator light to red so that we know we are using red color okay okay let's start press the button so currently the relay is not turned on that's why the power flows here and then the red indicator is lit up so if you press the start button then the relay is turned on and the power flows through the relay and the green light is turned on when you stop press the stop button then the relay gets turned off then the power flows to, through the normally close contact of the relay and the red indicator will turned on okay okay, that, okay that's all for today thanks for watching this video